Hello, gentle people. If this is your first time visiting my channel, or if you are a returning subscriber, welcome to this Sparrow Art Vibes video tutorial. I hope that you will see and hear something that inspires you uh, to create something beautiful. I'm Hazel, a retired educator turned resin artist, turned entrepreneur, and every week I share how I create the products that are available in my Etsy shop and my Shopify store. I generally create what are called evergreen products, that is um, products that have appeal year round, not just during like specific seasons. Uh, my custom dominoes, my let me say my custom and personalized dominoes, my chess sets and my charcuterie boards are all evergreen items. Their sales simply don't depend on seasons. And actually, I don't focus much on seasonal changes or fads or trends. But this year, I decided to create a gothic vibe section in my shops and add some Halloween items for fun. I've added a black cat charcuterie snack board set. I've added this Day of the Dead uh, charcuterie set. I have a travel mug. And, uh, you know, Sparrow Art Vibes focus um, primarily is on creating products that you would use when you are enjoying time with your family and friends, um, you know, playing games, eating, drinking, you know, just, just a good time. So anyway, I ordered this skull resin box mold that would be great as a Halloween decoration, at a gathering of, of goth folks, uh, as a jewelry box, or simply as a storage for trinkets. I basically uh, love to create functional art. So, in today's video, I will share how I created, or how I create, a sugar skull storage box with a lid. And if you happen to not want, if you happen to like this but don't want to go through the steps, you can always order it from me at SparrowArtVibes.Boutique or my Etsy store, which is um, Sparrow Art Vibes Shop, S-H-O-P. Um, and of course, if you are inspired by today's video, do like, share, and of course, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. That would be appreciated. And so now we need to take a look at the materials that we will need to make our sugar skull container. This is not really important, but I'm going to share anyway. Usually, Amazon will send you um, your items in one of these, well, I don't know what you call these, one of these little padded um, packaging or in a box. But the mold that we're going to use today actually arrived just like this. It was not in any kind of package, just the mold with my mailing label with my mailing label on it. So this is the mold we're going to be using. So let me get it out the package. All right, and so this is a two-piece mold. This is the bottom or the container part, and this is the lid. So that's our sugar skull silicon mold. We of course will need resin. So again, my go-to is the Craft Smart. This is the part A resin. This is the part B hardener. We will need a large and a small measuring cup. Large stir stick, smaller stir sticks our nitro gloves. For mica powders, I'm actually going to attempt to kind of mimic uh, the color palette that's on this little uh, personal charcuterie board. And so I'm going to be going after these pretty vibrant colors. So let me show you my mica powders. 
We are using the Eye Candy Kakairo Orange, Eye Candy Araya Gold, this Texture Hot Pink. I love the Eye Candy Okinawa Blue. We are going to be using the May Spring Silver Lining. Rolio Silver Ash. Can you read that? There you go. Silver Ash. The Pearl X Micro Pearl. We'll need two cups. And we'll need some paint brushes. And I believe that's it. When you go online to purchase this, you will see um, containers of resin that have been um, colored. I don't know whether mica powder or alcohol ink or whatever. But then you see the artist using a pipette like this one and they are squeezing the resin into the mold. I am not going to do that. I am trying to follow the color palette or use this as kind of my guideline uh, again for how I want to do this. So instead of me mixing resin and putting resin in here, I am going to what they call dust or paint the colors that I want. So, we are going to start with our Eye Candy Kakairo Orange. That's what we're starting with. And I am simply going to be, since this first flower up top is like orange and gold, I'm gonna do that in orange. I guess turning it that way might, might make more sense. And so I am simply going in here I am just painting this orange flower. I think I need a finer brush. And I'm really just dusting this orange mica powder in here. And this is more time consuming than if you uh, mix the resin but I don't really know how much resin to mix and resin is so expensive I just don't want to mix and waste resin mix it and then not knead it so it's easier for me to do it this way you of course can mix the resin if that's your choice you can mix the resin and color the resin Let me get an alcohol wipe. And I really have to turn this up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. little nooks and crannies. And I got the alcohol because I wanted to wipe this out of here. Good. Perfect. I don't want that orange. I want that to be green. And I didn't take any green out, but those are leaves over there. So I think I want, um, all right, and I have Imperial Jade here. And I'm going to do these leaves. I'll have a bunch of mica powders open before and 
let's see what else needs leaves. No, I don't see any more leaves on here. All right, so that's our, our green. Uh, let's make this orange a little heavier in here. A little heavier in there. Okay, and then we have pink flowers. So when we are looking at this, then the flowers on the side are the hot pink. So I have the um, Tesha hot pink that I'm going to use. And again, it's much faster if you just mix and color the resin. Uh, but like I said, since I can't, don't know how much I would need, I'm doing it this way. And um, this is actually more pleasurable. My car stopped working. Um, transmission shot on my car transmission shot on my vehicle and uh, this is actually a way for me to kind of stop thinking about the troubles the challenges that I face uh, without having a vehicle and having to decide how to replace my vehicle or even whether to replace my vehicle do I want to take a car note my, my vehicle is paid for do I want to take on the expense of a car note? Uh, or do I want to pay to have my transmission rebuilt or reconditioned? And then you have to decide like, well, if you get a, another vehicle, it'll be under warranty and it'll be reliable. My vehicle is a 2014 Dodge Caravan and it is paid for. So, you know, those are the kinds of things you have to think about. And let's see. Oh, I guess, what else needs pink? She has pink down at the bottom. Let's do some pink. Oh, she has pink, let me see. She has pink around her eyes. So we have circles here. So let's put pink into each of these circles. I need a different brush. with a finer point. All my brushes are getting old. So again, I'm basically mimicking the color palette. Uh, that's on this personal charcuterie board. And then she has a heart on her forehead that's pink. So we need to make this pink. Okay, and then we have, I guess, some orange and some pink down. We have pink down around the bottom, so let's make this, um, let's make this spider web pink.
lot of small detailing. up our pink and I'm going to just take this and just shake it to get rid of the excess okay that looks cleaner and so now let's see what are we going to do let's do the eyes let's do the black well, let's wipe this pink out of here Shaking that made kind of a mess, but that's okay. So let's see. Well, hmm. There's some gold in here. I had the Oriah gold. So before we do the black. See the gold around the eye right there? So we're going to put some gold around her eye over here. This Araya is not a dark gold, but it's sparkly. very thin. I think I need a darker, I think I need a darker gold for this to show up better. Yeah, I think I need a darker This is the Araya gold. I have an imperial gold. Let me grab that. This was the Araya gold that I was using. I'm going to add some imperial gold to this. It's darker. It's more yellow. Yeah, look at that. That's, yeah, that's more, more yellow. And I was concerned with going out of the lines, but now I think I'm going to just leave it because I think it looks a little more, um, what's the word they like to use today, organic? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that and not really worry about that too much. Okay, and let's see, we have our teeth and our gums. Oh, her gums are pink. I need my pink again. We need the pink again. The gums are pink. teeth to be pink. I want her teeth to be white. Yep, yeah, that's good. 
All right, and then we have some blue, and they have baby blue, but I like the brighter Okinawa blue. So now I'm going to use my blue. We're going to go with the Eye Candy Okinawa blue. That's a nice contrast. Oh, I think I'm going to have to go with blue around the edges here because this is This is not the brush I want. The brush I want, I do not see. Okay, so we're just going to do this whole outer edge here. So that's our blue. And then I guess we are now ready for what? Our white teeth and our black eyes. So let me just shake off some of this excess. And then let's clean the eyes out. So we need to do now the eyes and the nose in black. And so I'm not using black black. I am using the Rolio Silver Ash. This is really nice. Brush for the nose. 
And actually, as I'm looking at this, while this doesn't have to match this exactly, I see some dark down the sides here. So I'm going to go back with some of these curves and add some, some silver ash in here. I don't know that it'll pick up over the blue, but we're going to drop it in here anyway and see what happens. Yeah, I don't know that that'll stay over the blue. Okay, have we done everything? I think we've done everything now. I think we've colored everything. Oh, the teeth. We need to do the teeth. We haven't done our teeth. So let just wipe this down again. All right, and we're going to do the teeth in um, Pearl X Micro Pearl. She might wind up looking like she's been to the orthodontist. I want some white on this spider web down here. A little bit of white to make sure this stands out. Okay. So that's that's what we're looking like. And so now I am going to mix uh, 100 milliliters of resin. My container is already marked 50 and 100. So we need 50 milliliters of the Part B hardener. milliliters of the Part A resin. I always remind crafters to follow the manufacturer's instructions and we are using the CraftSmart clear casting and coating resin and our instructions tell us that we should be mixing this in a one-to-one -one ratio, which is what we did 50 and 50, and that we should mix for a minimum of five minutes. And so that's what we're going to do. So we are going to pour our resin into this cup so we can add color to it. And while most of the um, skulls that I see are done in black, oh, let me get rid of this excess white on here. I didn't shake this. Sorry about that, guys. I um, am going to do mine Again, in the May Spring Sterling lining, this, this metallic, this silver is really pretty. And you don't need a lot of it to make it look like metal. The metal will give this kind of a futuristic 
sort of a space age. This silver will give this kind of a space age thing going on. Alrighty. Just dip my Q-tip um, in some alcohol. And then we are simply going to pour air bubbles with the heat gun and I don't know if you notice these spots popping up here that's actually mica powder those those spots are mica powder Alrighty, and one more for the thing. that's just a nice way to um, use up so remember I did the inside edge of the lid with the Okinawa blue I am going to take the base because again this is when you pour it this will be the top so I am going to pour um, I want a rim I want a rim in that Okinawa blue so I am going to mix 40 milliliters of resin 20 of our Part B hardener. And then 20 of our Part A resin. five minutes okay so we are going to just pour this resin into this cup And then we are going to add our Okinawa Blue. And I'm going to move this. And then we are going to take our bottom. And we are going to pour our blue into our bottom. because we want the bottom to have this blue rim. Okay. All right, and then we just need to heat, hit this with the heat gun to pop any air bubbles. And we will cover this, and I'll come back in a hour or so and pour silver that matches this. I'll pour silver to finish this, to finish this out. Alrighty, I am back. It has been a couple of hours and we were simply allowing the um, teal, the Okinawa blue to set. Um, so now we're going to mix some more of the sterling lining, the silver, to pour in here. So measuring cup has been marked. 
50 milliliters of the Part B hardener. And 50 milliliters of the Part A resin. We will mix this for five minutes. Well, you get it. Alrighty, and we are going to just pour our resin into this cup. And then we will add our sterling lining mica powder. And so we just want to pour this resin into the bottom here. Alrighty, and then we will hit this with the heat gun to pop the air bubbles. There, 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 there. And then we will just cover this and allow it to cure. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll unmold these and see what it looks like. Okay, gentle people, it is the next morning, so we are going to uncover this, and this happens to be my favorite part of working with resin, and that's the unmolding. So let's see what this actually looks like. So here we go. See what it looks like. I do like that silver. Oh, and I like, yeah, I like that. <clears throat> okay, so that's our container. That's nice. And then this would be the most interesting part where we did the dusting of the cover. Let's see how that turned out. Let's see how the dusting of the cover actually turned out. if it was worth all of that time it took me to do it. Okay, we're going to do one, two, let's see. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That worked. That worked really, really well. Look at that. That is nice. So let's see how it fits on here. How about that? 
and I want you to see that there's a little, let me see, this fits, this lid fits nice and securely in here and there's a little indent right here on this edge to allow you to grab that lid. See the little indent right there? See that little cutout? So, uh, this is really rather smooth and this is really rather smooth but you know what we're going to go ahead and take the um, Dremel and just run it around both edges and add our rubber bumps. <laughs> that looks, that is too cool. I don't know um, if I would have liked it better if the background had been black, but uh, that works. And again, having done this edge in the Okinawa blue, works out really well when you put that on there because th that's good that is terrific let me um get the dremel so that's what we were going for to have her kind of look like her so again we have our orange flower at the top our pink our black eye our pink around the eye excuse me the gold, uh, the teeth are not quite white like I'd like the teeth to be. You can't really tell the teeth is, are white um, against the silver, um, but otherwise, that's cool. This is a really clean pour. Um, there's no no beads on the edge or anything. This is this is cool. And then we will, you know, my 3M rubber bumps. These are the large ones. And there you go. That is too cool. So you can fill this with candy um, or whatever you want to fill it with. And if you're not using it for food, this would look really nice as well um, on a dresser. If you were going to use it to store like jewelry or trinkets, um, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. So that's it. That is our sugar skull. Um, storage container with matching lid. There we go.